So if you look at a stethoscope, it's actually angled a certain way. And whenever I watch doctors on TV, they always put it in backwards and it drives me crazy because they're like, no doctor would put it in backwards. Oh, I'm gonna listen, like, you can't hear anything. It points towards the nose right here. There it is, now I can hear it just fine. Help, it's really loud. Hello. Today I'm gonna talk to you about murmurs in your pets. Heart murmurs, not just murmur, murmur, murmur. There could be a systolic murmur. That's the most common. There could be a diastolic murmur, less common. And even less common would be a patent ductus arteriosus. Heart murmur very simply is an abnormal sound in the heart. That's it. Instead of a nice lub dub, lub dub, lub dub, I hear whoosh dub, whoosh dub, whoosh dub, whoosh dub. But you won't hear that. You know why? You don't have one of these. Only doctors have these. You can't just buy that. The interesting thing about it is a heart murmur doesn't actually tell me anything about how the heart is functioning most of the time. It does tell me that there might be some abnormal blood flow in there. There's a lot of reasons we can see it in cats. Um, a common one is uh, hyperthyroidism, that their, their thyroid gland gets overactive, makes the heartbeat really fast, and it just doesn't quite keep up. A very common one I will see is really small dogs will have valve problems. So instead of their valves closing nice and smooth like that, they actually get a little knobbly and they look like that. And you can see little holes through them. The valve's not closing very well and blood sort of flows back and forth. And so when that big left ventricle contracts, um, instead of it all the blood going out to the body like it should, some of it goes back into the left atrium. And so that left atrium gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So we have backup of blood. And if it keeps backing up, it'll back up even farther into the lungs. That's called congestive heart failure. By the time we get to the place where it's causing congestive heart failure, the things you're going to notice are uh, being short of breath, exercise intolerance. In other words, dogs that uh, normally would run after the ball, they get out of breath really fast. Um, not wanting to eat in cats is a big one. Occasionally you'll see dogs that have a cough and that could be because they have fluid in their lungs or it could be because that left atrium is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and it's actually pushing on the main stem bronchi and causing them to get smushed a little bit and causing a little bit of bronchitis. There are a lot of dogs out there that have heart murmurs and they never ever cause a problem. They just sit there, they call them innocent murmurs, they've been there forever. Very commonly we'll see puppies with an innocent murmur that goes away usually by 12 to 16 weeks of age. So if a puppy comes in and I hear a, a slight heart murmur, I don't get too worried. I don't send them right to the cardiologist. I'll usually say, this one's okay. Let's just check in a few weeks and often they'll go away. There are some specific murmurs that can indicate a big problem. Um, and one of those is in very young dogs, you'll hear a murmur that actually sounds like a washing machine, like <laughs> And that's something we'll usually recommend go to see a cardiologist right away. Thanks for watching. I hope that answers all the questions you have about heart murmurs in your pets. If you have more questions, please put them in the comments section below. And remember to subscribe and tell all your friends.